Hello, students. Can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are able to hear my voice properly, students? Can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box? Yeah. So the voice is also audible and the screen is also very much visible. So uh, students now coming into the stakeholder mapping. Now students, if you observe stakeholder mapping, if you see students, we are going to analyze these people given in the case study. Now, if you observe in the strategic case study, the people matters at the end of the day because you are making decision in respect to the shareholders and the community in whole. Now, students, for the stakeholder mapping, I am dividing this into two sections. One is non-executive directors, non-executive directors. And then the other one will be executive directors. Now, non-executive directors mean students, they don't participate, they don't participate, they don't participate in company activities daily. They don't participate in company activities daily, in company activities daily. They perform the role of advisory. They perform the role of advisory. Understand it clearly, students. They perform the role of advisory. That is non-executive directors. That means they are not full-time workers. They come in for the company. They give a lot of support towards the external factors based on your experience. Now, students, it is requested to remember the name of these people. If you can't remember the name, you have the option in the exam day to take the name from the pre seen material as well. So if you observe here, Mabalemi Maleka. So I'm going to write down the first person's name, Mabalemi Maleka. Now, if you observe, this person is the chairman or the non executive chair. Okay, the chairman. Now, let's analyze her profile. Malabemi has a long and successful career as a politician. So, this person is a politician. Understand it very well, students. This person is a politician. This person is a politician, including spending two years as a junior minister of railway. So for two years, this person has spent in railway for two years as a junior minister. She has now retired from politics. In addition to her position on day struck, she is a visiting professor of economics at Central City University. Mabalemi joined Daystruck board in 2020. Now, currently it's 2023. So almost three years she has provided the service. So I'll write down here, politician. Junior minister in railways. Okay. And also, uh, in other words, she's a visiting professor of economics in Central City University. Now, students, this is what the data we have with us. Now, you have to understand the interest or how we can utilize this person so that you will understand it is very clear. Now, railway transport. Can you remember students? We have something called railway transport also. Can we have the influence of her? Possible? Yes. Is it ethical? Is it what students? Ethical. Depends on how things work. Correct or not correct students? Yes or no? Can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you understood these roles coming into the picture? Because get it very well, they have specifically mentioned this person is a 
politician and this person can be influenced for the railway transport as well intermodal transport in that we can go for the railway to get contracts using this person negative media influence negative media influence can take place understand it very clearly students negative media influence can what students take place can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are clear with this person just remember we have one retired politician in our board so you should not forget these individuals generally students ignore all these people in the exam day but remember students you have to remember everyone by your thought process hendrik gergens the chief executive officer hendrik is a executive person so i'll come to him later because he is the ceo i'll come to him later now we are doing the non executive board so dorin is a chief operating officer rasim hamid is the chief financial officer andrea lopez is the chief information officer and max foster is the human resource director they are the executive i can say directors now we have one more person in the non executive one that is professor hong yu li so i'll write down here students professor 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 hong yu professor hong yu li now students senior independent director senior independent director these are synonyms but senior independent director means of the non executive director one of the most senior level person okay that means second to the chairman we can say hong yu has a successful career in academia that means he is mostly like a teaching person in the market latterly a professor of management science in capital city university she joined dalstra board as an independent director in 2019 combining with convening the management committee of capital city hospital she was appointed daystruck senior independent director 2021 so students in simple language this person is an academia so i'll write down here academia in management science in management science so students this person can give some idea or insight relations with operation management proposal there will be operational management proposal can you remember students we have that automation proposal that has taken place in our organization can you remember that now in case if it is not functioning well we have to ask the opinion from professor hong yu based on his experience as well okay and he is in the capital city university understand it very clearly he is in the capital city university so students can i quickly get a double y in the chat box if you are fine with this students can i quickly get a double y this person's influence is fine but the chairman is a very powerful person chairman is a very powerful person this person you can use it for some basic operations management only so i'll just write it down also so i'll write down here operations management only operations management only operations management for students only can i get a double y in the chat box students if you are fine with this any questions you like to ask, you can ask me but if you are fine with this can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box thank you thank you very much students now the next person is khalid abbas so i'll write down his name first the name is khalid abbas khalid abbas independent non executive director okay khalid has an engineering background so i'll just circle his background first engineering background he spent most of his career worked for a leading vehicle manufacturer so he may have idea about the trucks everything latterly a director of innovation he retired from full time employment in 2018 since he combined his role on daystruck board with a conveying professional engineering body outreach program to encourage school pupil to consider career in engineering 
so everyone in our organization has a convening role that means they are not only working for our organization they are also working for some else also so i'll write down here students engineering background so engineering background he has engineering background okay so he has worked as a director of innovation in our previous organization and also students if i'm not mistaken another role another role another role in professional 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 engineering body professional engineering body another role in the professional engineering body students can i quickly get a confirmation so in this case i can generally write down for this person a uh, product development so if there is anything related to product development you can use this person correct no students if i am not mistaken can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are fine with this person here can i get a confirmation from you all thank you thank you very much students now students if you are fine with that students we can move forward with the uh, next one also so the next one is going to be natalie uh, brurat so let's observe that person natalie brurat okay again a senior non executive director natalie worked for roundlands department of transport for her career so i'll write down here experience in the department of transport now see bigger people are in the board so students influential range is very high she has reached the senior position by time of her retirement she involved in drafting legislation in variety of issues including revision of the motorway speed limits updating tests required for driving licenses natalie joined race track when she retired from the government since 2021 so legal compliance was her role now in the examination once again students there can be influential situation influential situation in these people in these people now students one is the chairman as you already know students in our case study if you observe our chairman in simple language just to make it very very easy for you chairman is a powerful person and nedali do you see this person nedali she is also very very powerful and an influential person at the moment so students uh, any questions you like to ask you can ask me students uh, regarding uh, these people at the moment are you fine with that students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are fine with this analysis we have please don't forget the chairman please don't forget nedali please try to make sure you use these characters in your examination whenever you do question practice whenever you do answering the questions it is very very important if you are okay with the students can i quickly go with the executive board analysis students because we need to understand it very well so whenever there is an ethical issue relating to the government whenever there is a ethical issues relating to the legislation these two people can play a critical role and there are situation of bribery there are situation of influential so many things can come into the picture can i quickly get a double y in the chat box students if you are fine with this so that we can move forward with the executive board can i go forward with the executive board students if you don't mind so i am working with the executive board let's start working so students non executive board is very easy to understand it is a board which is on a part time basis so i am going to come to the executive directors executive directors so in the executive directors i'll write right here they work full time they work full time and manage the operations and manage the operations they manage the operations they work full time and they generally manage the operations now this is a very very important role because you are directly into the strategic level at the moment you are directly into the strategic level so let's start working on this so let's go with the order hendrik jardins so i'll write down here hendrik 
Jerdings, who is the CEO. Hendrik has a degree in computer science. He worked in software development with major IT company before joining Daystruck as a senior manager in the company's data center. Hendrik joined Daystruck board as a CIO in 2016. He was promoted as the chief executive officer in 2020. So in this case, computer science background. He has a very strong computer science background. So how can he contribute to our company? The good thing I can say is he can enhance the IT function. Correct, no students. Enhance, enhance the IT systems. Enhance the IT systems and cyber security. Correct, no students. Yes or no? He has that. Now, what are the weakness? Now, if you come to the weakness, poor competence. Why poor competence? Poor competence. He has not he has not suggested cloud computing. Now, see, we do not have cloud computing at the moment. Correct, no students? Yes or no? So poor competence in what students? Cloud computing. Students, can I quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box, students, if you are clear with that competency issue? Because the shareholders will ask him a question. You are very much into the role with the computer science, but still we do not have a cloud computing for our softwares or our data is purely into the normal process. So thank you very much. The next person is Doreen Sampat. So I'll write down here, Doreen Sampat. And who is Doreen Sampat? He's our C double O. So in this case, let's come to the application of how to analyze this role. Doreen holds a heavy good vehicle license. She worked in the food warehouse after leaving school, during which time she learned to operate forklift. She went to learn how to drive articulated trucks. She joined Day's truck in 2002. So students are very senior person. As a trainee warehouse manager, she completed a part-time MBA, after which she was promoted to various management role within the company. Doreen joins the Daystruck board in 2017. Okay, so I can just write down grassroots experience. Grassroots experience from heavy good license. I can just give one thing. The strength we have very much aware of the business process. That is the good thing. The weakness of this person is will not be able to understand technical terms. That is the biggest issue. The good thing is she comes from the grassroots. So it's very difficult to others to cheat her or to make any manipulations. But the biggest weakness is when there is a change management, she may not be able to understand technical terms because she comes from a very much of a professional working experience based person. Can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box? If you understood Doreen Sampat students, if you are clear with that, can I quickly get a confirmation from you? Now, the next person we are going to analyze is Razim Hamid. Who is the next person, students? Razim Hamid. It is the CFO. Razim is a qualified accountant. He spent much of his career working for a leading supermarket company during which time he completed his professional training and worked his way to a senior management role in the finance. He joined Daystruck in 2015 as a chief accountant and was promoted as CFO in 2019. So I'll write down here, supermarket working experience. Therefore, 
can understand mudak supermarket requirements can you remember students we have a competitor sorry a supplier mudak supermarket requirement because they generally are asked to give their goods if i'm not mistaken food everything is done so one good thing is he can at least manage that place using uh, his knowledge if i'm not mistaken with this knowledge he has he can manage it if i'm not mistaken so students i believe this is very clear for you all at the moment can i get a confirmation from you all students if you are fine with that razim hami the cfo so he is mostly into the supermarket sector so that's a good point also and andrea the next person is going to be who students andrea lopez and c is the cio that is the chief information officer that means hendrix previous role andrea studied data science at a university after graduating she worked in the logistic management with variety of manufacturing companies she joined they struck in 2017 as a senior it manager she was promoted to her role in replacing hendrix so again i'll write down here data science background data science background and worked in logistic industry worked in logistics industry so that is a good point of view and she can help to progress to 4 pl now currently we are 3 pl students so she can guide us to progress to our students 4 pl can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are fine with that andrea lopez one can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are clear with that andrea lopez point now she can help us but one problem that she has is she too didn't suggest cloud computing she suggests cloud computing that is one bigger issue at the moment now max foster another person so i am going to write down here max foster hr hr director now students if you observe max foster max has a significant experience of human resource management at a senior level he was the hr director at major coated construction company before joining day struck in 2020 so has experience in construction industry has experience in the construction industry so that is one advantage we can effectively see so in this case students if you observe this particular situation now i can specifically say if you observe this for me i feel dorian is like a very very important person at the moment and razim if you see financial risk he didn't sort it he didn't tell us anything related to the financial risk implication our company is facing correct no students he didn't tell that us so i can only say our board is a good board there nothing wrong there but only thing that we have to improve is we have to ensure that our board is becoming very much competent and strong enough to do the things very well so students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are fine with this students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box so we have effectively analyzed our board we have five executive directors and we have effectively four non executive directors can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are fine with that and remember one thing these directors play a very critical role in your examination very critical role in the examination students ignore the board in the examination that's a bio mistake that many does it directors responsibility henry jardins the chief executive officer now if you observe in this case dorin sampat chief operating officer transportation liaison with clients warehouse operation Razin, financial reporting, financial management, treasury, Andrea, 
IT operation, IT security, software maintenance. Max Foster recruitment, staff retention, health and safety. Hendrik is the CEO. That looks like a balanced board. Nothing to worry at the moment. But coming to the corporate governance of the non-executive committees, uh, risk, remuneration and nomination we have. And as usual, this is a common mistake and they don't test it in the exam also. So now students, if you generally observe, the nomination committee, okay, the nomination committee and the risk committee should have the CEO also or one executive director. Now, in this case, or not in this case, from every time SEMA develops a pre-seen material, they ignore this corporate governance standard. The logical reason why CEO should be in the risk committee is CEO is the person who is daily engaging with the risk that is taking place in the business. Similarly, the nomination is for the board. Now, if you want a person to be nominated in the board, the CEO also should recommend because at the end, these people is going to work with the board, the CEO. If nomination committee just assigns a person and goes, it will be a very, very bigger issue for others. Students, can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are clear with that point, students? So the last one is, they struck chief internal auditor reports to the convener of the audit committee. So this is the last one. So they are just spelling this. Now, students, nothing to worry here. We are done with the full analysis of the pre-seen material. But just remember these, these people who are very, very essential for you all. And don't forget the two politically strong background individuals. And also Doreen, who is a person who has been there in the company for almost 20 years till now. So in case if she is resigning or something happens to her, we need to ensure that this person should be able to give up their point of view. So students, can I get a double way in the chat, students, if you are fine with this student. Any questions you like to ask, you can ask me. So we are effectively done with this analysis. The full pre-seen analysis is completed. The full pre-seen analysis is completed, including the ratios, including the SWOT. And now we have to just use the technical knowledge and we need to analyze the situation as per a finance manager and do it. So that's the progression we are going to do for the next one and a half months time. So any questions, students, you have, you can let me know. If you are fine with this explanation, can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box, students? If you are fine with this explanation, can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box? The full analysis is O. Okay, so I'm assuming everyone is fine. So I'm going to the next one, if I'm not mistaken, students. This is a very, very important aspect that is known as the I can statement. Now, students, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the ICANN statement. Now, here, if you see developer business strategy, now that is a common syllabus framework. Now, developer business strategy for Daystra. So in this case study, when you speak to many people who pass, the only thing they are effectively telling us is at the end of the day, what matters is in your personal point of view, how you are going to develop the day struck strategy. That matters. Now, generally, if you see the strategic level pass rates are not up to the mark, to be frank. The reason for that is the examiner does want the students to think rather than reflect any other person's knowledge. Whatever we do in the mock, you need to forget it as soon as possible. Because don't write anything what we write in the classroom in your examination. In the examination, you should simulate. Simulate meaning you should make sure you are a finance manager. And you are given with the responsibility how 
will you do it don't use the suggestions of other parties can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are fine with that point of view because that is technically important that you write it in your own now students i have always made a complaint to cima uk now if you observe your examinations let's assume it's going on tuesday or i can say wednesday thursday and the friday so what's happening is three variants are re released on the first day and majority thinks okay the variants are repeated i can do it thursday friday but the effect of this is sema purposely releases the three variants the reason is they want the students to fail with the prepared answer you can't go to the exam with the prepared answer students you can't go if you go with the exam with a prepared answer the chances of failing is 100% sure and the reader already know the student is just copy pasting whatever coming from the tutor's material whatever coming from the teacher's explanation so majority should be very careful because passing at the first attempt is not easy provided that you are thinking properly to the situation so students any questions you have you can ask me if you are fine with this students can i get a double y in the chat box because i will upload this also but just remember students you have to simulate at the end of the day you have to simulate at the end of the day your results will be coming example like this they'll say you are provision or not provision they'll give you a trigger covering a small area from this not a theory question very much blended with technical or practical application if you are skilled enough they will say provision if you are unskilled if you are unskilled they will always say not provision that is the understanding behind that so students can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box you are fine with these students because this is a very very important point of view that you have to address in your examination and just remember students memorizing won't work out just reading the answers won't work out management case study yes operational case study yes strategic case study very unorthodox answer you need to write it like differently from other people so students uh, what i will do i'll go for the one to one question discussion so if you have any questions you can ask me if you are fine with that you can please put y in the chat box so i'll start from alphabetical order ami sanitra any questions for the day Oh uh, no, sir. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Mr. Anson. Any questions for the day? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Aquilin. Any questions for the day? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I would like to ask. I've noticed that the uh, this board chairman is part of the audit committee don't we have any problem with that or oh, it's okay like that for him to be part of the audit committee since it is fine is the chairman it, it is fine because chairman is anyway an unnecessary director and there oh. is something called comply and explain so if he is there and the company is listed from 1970 so there is no issues that means shareholders are fine with him ah okay thank you Welcome. Uh, Mr. Ibzal, any questions for the day? No, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Keith Iswaran, any questions for the day? No, Mr. Lopez. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Koza, any questions for the day? No, thank you. Uh, Ms. Munjala, any questions for the day? Uh, no, thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Nirosh, any questions for the day? Uh, Ms. Priscilla, any questions for the day? No, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ranganathan, any questions for the day? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, students, uh, get it down clearly. This is a very different examination. You have to write very much like your own point of view. So, I'll meet you on the Sunday class. So, on the Sunday class, let's start working with the questions and the mocks, and I'll teach you how to write the answers as well. So thank you very much, students. See you on the Sunday class. Take care, students. Thank you.